But it's difficult. It is. I don't want you to think that I'm one of those people that's pretentious about food. I'm not. These, these people annoy me. I, I'm not one of these people. You know the kind of people, the kind of people that pretend they like dark chocolate. I mean, by this, I mean anyone that claims to like dark chocolate, because no-one actually likes dark chocolate, if you're honest with yourself. No-one's eating normal, nice milk chocolate going, well, this is good, but I wish it tasted a bit more like paracetamol. <laughs> I wish I felt like I was curing a headache with this. It's horrible, I got go in a box that Terry's Black Magic for Christmas. It's horrible, it's like doing a Bush Tucker trial. <laughs> Yeah, all right, don't bring a kettle to the gigs again. Like, <laughs> I know I brought up tea, but let's not make it. <laughs> it's horrible. I mean, I know you see them giving it to children. I saw a child the other day eating a dark chocolate penguin. If my parents had left that in my lunchbox when I was a kid, I'd have reported them to social services. <laughs> I mean, how can this chocolate bar get any worse unless you've replaced the joke with a depressing fact? <laughs> 35 million people died during the plague. Well, at least they didn't have to eat this shit. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, you get these pretentious chocolates. The worst is Giant Toblerone. That is the worst, because that has ideas above its station. Because <laughs> it, it, you always see it in duty free. I don't know why. Duty free is meant to be luxury items like champagne or cigars. Giant Toblerone is not a luxury item. <laughs> Never have I seen it turn up in a hip hop video. <laughs> I've seen LL Cool J kicking back with his bitch and his homies going, what have I got? Well, cocaine, guns and giant Toblerone, actually, yeah. <laughs> he only had trios in the hood, so I'm living the fucking dream. <laughs> I mean, duty free is meant to be stuff you don't want to pay the tax on. That isn't the reason I'm not buying giant Toblerone. <laughs> the reason I'm not buying giant Toblerone is I don't want to eat my chocolate using a chisel. <laughs> The other reason is I'm pretty small anyway. You give me one of them, I look like a fucking borrower. That is how that works out. <laughs> no one is trying to avoid the tax on Toblerone, are they? I mean, no one's going, oh, Toblerone, well, I get mine through Guernsey. That's how I get away with it, yeah. pretension about food. Everywhere. I went for breakfast. Simple, you'd think, in a cafe the other day, right? Oh, the menu. One of the things on the menu, right? Toasted bread. That is called toast. <laughs> I mean, what are my other options? Flaked corn topped with the juice of a milked cow. <laughs> I hate pretentious restaurants. Oh, well, they, I went for dinner the other day. And it was like a posh restaurant. They made me uncomfortable. I was fine. They won't leave you alone, right? I was just waiting there for my meal, right? Just sat there, happy as Larry. The waiter came over without asking, just picked up my napkin and placed it onto my lap for me. <laughs> and where I am from, that is basically sexual assault. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do, because all that's happened in my head there is he's looked at me and gone, well, he's going to be shit at eating. <laughs> I sort of walked over, picked up my fork and gone, here comes the aeroplane, open wide. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do that. I don't put the napkin on my, on my lap when I eat out. I don't know why anyone does. No one does that when they eat at home. Is there really that much extra pressure when you're eating in front of other people that you think, oh, I'm definitely going to fuck this one up? <laughs> what if I miss my mouth? I'm going to like it, right? Oh, my God, there it goes. <laughs> the worst are the people that tuck it in here. How bad are you expecting to be at eating? Go for the main, I'll have the cannelloni, but I'm going to eat it like I'm a feral wolf. <laughs> and for pudding, I'll have the profiteroles, but rather than bring them to the table, just stand in the doorway and chuck them at my face. <laughs> Don't worry, I've taken precautions, I'll be just fine. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I hate these people that are pretentious about food. And it's even like foods that are simple, rubbish foods. They take themselves too seriously. I was eating super noodles the other day. First thing on the back of the packet, it says, serves two. <laughs> that has never happened. I mean, no couple has ever sat down to an evening of super noodles together. <laughs> if you're eating super noodles, the very reason is you are serving one. <laughs> but then there's a worse bit at the bottom, right? It says, serving suggestion on super noodles. I mean, that should say, if you've got a bowl, we will be impressed. 
cos we know you will eat this directly out of the saucepan <laughs> while walking around your living room wondering if you've seen this episode of Pointless before. <laughs> Serving suggestions on super noodles, it might as well say, why not try adding salt with your own tears? Instead, right, it says, serving suggestion. Why not try dicing up a chicken, frying it in Cajun spices, and tossing it onto your super noodles? I'll tell you why not. Cos I'm eating super noodles. <laughs> if I could do that, I wouldn't be going near a fucking pack. <laughs> Might as well go, serving suggestion. Why not try learning to cook? It's unbelievable. This is my issue with the people from Bachelors, because, oh, incidentally, Bachelors, as a company name, that is rubbing it in, isn't it? <laughs> and they might as well just call it Food for the Lonely. <laughs> what have you got there? I've got a spinster's pasty. <laughs> and if you're going to make shit food, at least give your company a good name. It's like Pizza Hut. I've never understood that. Pizza Hut. Right? Like, cos, uh, I, oh, we know, it's bad. And then, a few years ago, they changed their name for a few months. To move up market, they changed it to Pasta Hut. <laughs> you know, look, if you're going to change one word <laughs> in the name Pizza Hut to move up market, that word should be Hut. <laughs> cos no one is going, well, I hate pizza, but I fucking love huts. <laughs> also, have you tried the pasta and Pizza Hut? It's the worst bit. Don't draw attention to it in the name. It's like calling Take That Howard and Friends. <laughs> That's right, I fucked up Howard Donald's Christmas Day, haven't I? Unbelievable. <laughs> Just watch a DVD, how badly can it go? Oh, you're fucking kidding me, unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know, I struggle with these things. I, I've got a friend, he's quite pretentious, but the kind of person, you go around his house, he's got a water filter. I mean, call me a big shot, but I can handle the strength of water straight from the tap. Huh? <laughs> Never drinking that tap water, go, oh, fucking hell, that's strong, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, we could water it down, but if anything, that'll make things worse. <laughs> I mean, these people should try squash, it'll blow their fucking minds. <laughs> You're right, mate, no, I've had a vim toe, I'm going to be out for weeks. Shouldn't have combined it with Kellogg's start. I've never had so much energy. <laughs> you don't need a water filter. You don't need to fill, fill a tap water. It's tap water. All it does is tap water into tap water. It's not canal water. <laughs> You're not know, like, going through the filter going, oh, what's it got? Uh, an old tramp's boot? <laughs> a shopping trolley? This thing's paying for itself. <laughs> I mean, if it's a filter, give it a challenge. Put in a can of lilt. If it gives you a glass of water and a grapefruit, that is a fucking filter, my friends. 